let's check out a GIF maker that you can use for stop motion animations and for video to GIF conversion. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. So in case you're not familiar with the format, a GIF is basically an animated image format. The GIF animations you send on social media, animated memes, stickers, etc. are all in GIF. These kind of GIFs are usually created from a video clip that you couldn't otherwise embed in a post or a message without a video player. GIF is also a great format to experiment with stop motion animation. Stop motion animation is taking a photo every time the subject moves and then playing these images consequently to create a, well, motion picture. So in the case of stop motion, we're converting images to GIF. Okay, let's see how we can do both kind of GIF creations in the GIF maker of the Uniconverter 16. If you don't have the software yet, be sure to get it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. So after installation, open the Uniconverter and you'll find the GIF maker tool in the image menu here. First of all, you'll need to choose from video to GIF or image to GIF conversion. Let's start with video to GIF. So import your video clip. I'll import this video of my dog being just super cute. When it's imported, on the right side of the window, you'll have your settings. First, you can set the start and the end time in a very precise way, but you can also do that down here on the timeline. Moving forward, you can set the size. A GIF is usually fairly small in quality, especially if you're creating stickers, as a sticker must be 512 times 512 and under 100 kilobytes. And then you can set up the frame rate, the length of the video. Finally, you can add a piece of text to the image in case you want to. Now, after you had chosen an output folder, you can create your GIF. And that's it. Let's take a look at it. Nice. Now, let's see how you can turn images into GIFs. So, let's switch over to Photos to GIF up here. And then here you can import 20 photos at a time in these formats. Just for fun, let's create a small stop motion animation. I'm going to make a little animation of the camera rigging itself. So first, I'll take the photos. You have to be very precise here how you move the objects. And obviously the camera should stay more or less in the same spot. Okay, done with the photos. Let's import them into the GIF maker. In case the order of the images is not right, you can change that by moving the images here. Before we create the GIF, there are two settings to change. One of them is the resolution. I took the images in 1920x1080, so I'll leave them as that. And the other one is the frame rate. You may also just experiment with it as you can check the result in the preview window. Okay, again choose an output folder and then click on create GIF. Let's take a look. Cool. All right, that's it. This GIF maker is very easy to use and can be used for all sorts of GIF creations. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.